hello. I see you've got yourself a shiny new Tesla there. You are enjoying the heck out of it. The super fast acceleration, the high tech features, and you love this giant piece of glass, right? Looking out in a big city, you see the tall skyscrapers. Maybe in a mountain setting, you see the snow peaked caps. It's pretty awesome stuff. But then everyday reality sets in, right? And you realize it gets molten hot. <laughs> So what do you do? You look into ceramic tint, right? Then you read up on the horror stories on Facebook. Oh, it'll crack your glass. Well, that may or may not be true. But then you look for one of these, a sunshade that you just pop into place. But does it work? It doesn't work. I mean, honestly, can a little piece of fabric block heat and sun? We're gonna find out, you and me, right now. process is going to look like this. This sunshade is going to be removed. Currently, we are in the garage. It's been sitting all night long, so the roof is going to be relatively cool. I will take readings before I take uh, the car out of the garage and uh, take uh, copious notes while we're doing all this stuff. So uh, I'm going to do the uh, interior of the, of the garage right now. It's been sitting all night. I will take readings for that. Then as soon as I take it outside and put it in the sun, I will take immediate readings so we know where we're starting from. I will be putting putting a sunshade up because that's what most people will be doing like if they park in a mall or a store or whatever it's going to be 20 minutes outside we'll put the uh the, the shade back on we're going to cool the car back down i'm going to try to get the roof to be the same temperature as it is right now after sitting all night and once we get that temperature right we'll put it back outside We'll find out what the uh, temperature is outside at the time. There might be a couple degrees difference because, you know, it gets hotter throughout the day. And we'll see uh, what the shade uh, does, if anything. Later in the video, regardless of what happens during this test, uh, I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why you probably want this anyway. So this is just a heat test. Of course, we will be using a, a laser uh, temperature gauge here. So uh, everything should be somewhat official. I will try my best to flip flop be between uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius for our European users and elsewhere that are using a Celsius. So uh, th this uh, has that on there. So I'm going to try that. And that's the uh, the idea behind this test. It's not completely scientific, uh, but I think it's going to be close. All right. So we're going to test our laser thermometer here on the uh, first of three just to calibrate it and make sure that we're on the same page here this is the clock slash temperature gauge we're going to use inside the car as well so let's go ahead and do that 78.4 let's go near it a little bit down here 77.9 so it is a little bit off it's about two degrees off on that let's point uh somewhere over next to it 77 7. Yeah, so it looks like it's about two degrees off, at least on this particular one. This one is reading at 71.8. Let's take a look at the temperature gauge here, 74.3. So this one's about two degrees hotter as well. Let's just point it in a slightly different direction. 72, that's closer, 72.8, one degree off. All right, finally our nest is reading at 73. There's a slight glare there, it's actually me. It is saying 73. Let's uh, use the temperature gauge on this area, 73.9. Okay, so those are our tests for our uh, laser thermometer here. And it was, I don't know, between one to two, possibly three degrees running hotter than the other three thermometers. So it's pretty close. So now we know what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna remove this uh, sunshade from Joa and we're gonna take the readings and then we're gonna put the car outside, take second readings, cause it might, you know, heat up in just a couple of minutes and we will have a GoPro pointed at a clock as well as the uh, temperature gauge. The, uh, I'm gonna do 20 minutes on my uh, Siri and my watch. Actually, I'll do 19 minutes so I can come out right before. Cabin overheat is off. I'll show you that on the app. And it also has the uh, temperature that the app is showing for the car right now. So uh, I put that on the screen for you to take a look at. And without further ado, let's begin this uh, funky little test that I had to actually buy stuff for. <laughs> but I, I couldn't be I couldn't be a guy just going, oh, it feels hot. I don't know. It could be hotter. <laughs> I don't know if that's how I sound normally. OK, we're still in the garage. As you can see, I took the uh, sunshade off. Nice big panoramic glass showing our uh, <laughs> garage door. So we're going to take readings in Fahrenheit of the glass 
And then uh, down like in the footwell, just to get an overall cabin temperature down there on the uh, passenger side. So let's take a look at that. We're at 83.3 Fahrenheit. And let's go down to the footwell, 79.3 down in the footwell. So here is the glass in Celsius, 28.2. And then down in the uh, footwell, we got the 26.1, which is a little weird. Okay, so as you can see, we got a sunshade up. Uh, just wanted to do basically what, uh, you know, a normal person would do, parking their car in the hot sun for about 20 minutes. And over my shoulder this way, there goes my GoPro, just took a dive. Just want to show you that the uh, panoramic uh, window is already in the sun, so we've got to get this going pretty quickly here. Sorry about the GoPro. GoPro, come back. Okay, we put that here. Let's take uh, readings real quick. 34.4C and 93.9 already Fahrenheit. Let's go to do the footwell, 81.8, 27.7, there we go. All right, we got 18 minute countdown on the, on the Siri here on the watch. There it is, there's the sun, right beating up down on the glass. So this is perfect. We'll come back in 20 minutes and see how it is. The test has begun. I'm excited, I can't wait to see how, uh, how this does without. Now, uh, as far as I've done on the research, by the way, the Tesla Model Y does have some heat reduction properties in the glass on the uh, roof. The Model 3 does not. I'm gonna be using my uh, handy dandy laser temperature gauge on Model 3 stuff as well. Now I did ceramic coat that roof, so I've got a buddy who hasn't, so I'm gonna AB that as well. So uh, more to come with my fancy uh, temperature gauge. All right, our 18 minute uh, countdown has expired. We're gonna get out to the car, We're making some food here apparently. That is the outside temperature right now, 85.3. Let's get outside. All right, we're at 20 minutes. Let's open things up and see how it is. Ooh, it's toasty in here. All right, so here's what the this clock says, 87 degrees interior. I am on the screen right now what the, um, the app actually said. So um, let's take our readings and take our notes, and then we're going to have to cool the whole car down and start over again. All right, here we are inside. Very toasty, very, very toasty. Let's take these readings really quick. Um, we're going to shoot the back of the glass where the sun isn't beating down directly. And then we're gonna do right above, which is where the sun is at. So let's do that. 154.9 Fahrenheit on the back of the glass. Now let's do right above. You can see the sun is like right here. We're gonna do right above here where the sun is beating. 164.8. Molten hot. And then let's do uh, Celsius real quick here. 74.2. And then we'll do the back of the glass as well. It's uh, interesting that they're different, 70 even, 70.0 70 even on the back. So there we go, those are our readings. Uh, so what we're gonna do next, oh, I gotta do the um, the footwell here real quick. Let's do that, 34.8 Celsius, 94.6. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to uh, put the car back in the garage, try to get this uh, panoramic glass as close to garage temperature at the beginning of the test as possible. Then I'm gonna put the sunshade back up bring it back outside, do another 20 minutes, and we're gonna see what happens. Again, later in the video, I'm gonna give you some reasons to get the shade no matter what this test provides in terms of data. So uh, there, there might still be a reason for you to get this thing. Let's continue with the test though. Current outside temperature is 87.4. Probably by the time we start, it'll be 88. We'll see what the car says though. Garage temperature overnight was 83.3. Let's take a look now. I think it's gonna be close enough for the test. We're at 85.1. By the time I put the uh, the uh, sun uh, visor back up, uh, we should be good to go. I I'm happy with a couple degrees difference. I mean, again, I don't think I'm gonna get it as close as sitting overnight in the garage after just being at 154.9 degrees. So let's get the uh, sunshades back in and restart the test and see how it goes. Sunshade is back in. Took me all of about two minutes to get it back in there, which is pretty easy. Let's, uh, let's do in two spots. We're gonna do uh, a pre-test reading here. We're at 86.1. Do one back here just for fun. 
That's Fahrenheit, by the way. We'll do Celsius in a second. And now we'll do uh, Celsius. I should have just hit the button, but I didn't. Here we go. 31.2. All right, so we're gonna do a 20 minute test. I just wanted to have time to get back out here. Uh, the GoPro is GoProing. Let's just take one more set of readings right as we're starting. 33.5 Celsius, 92.3. All right, test is already underway. Car's already getting hot inside. It says 80.2 uh, degrees. And uh, let me get a screenshot and also verify that uh, cabin overheat is off. I don't want that kicking in. So uh, here we go. This is the test. This is with the screen, uh, the sunshade for the roof on a Tesla Model Y. Interesting. Outside temperature is 88.5. Let's go take a look. It's about 20 minutes now. Let's get out there. Cabin overheat, of course, running on our Model 3 here. But let's get out to the Model Y. I did confirm that the uh, cabin overheat was off. We're about to hit the 20 minute mark. 19 minutes just hit. Let's get inside and bake ourselves. I can confirm the uh, cabin overheat is not on. Let's get inside real quick, not to let any cold air. Let's take a look at our timer. It's actually not too bad in here, 86 degrees after 20 minutes. And uh, I think, what did I say, 88 degrees outside? GoPro still GoProing, which is good. I think we're gonna go uh, 20 more seconds or so, and then we're gonna shoot it with the uh, the infrared uh, temperature gauge here. It's, a, it's feeling really hot in here, by the way. Okay, so sunshade is up. Coming up on the 30 second mark. Moment of truth, here we go. All right, let's shoot the back of it here. 60.5 C, 140.9. Let's shoot it right at the sun now. This is right where it was. Uh, the sun has moved a little bit, but it's still beating down pretty good. So let's shoot that part. 146.3, 63.5 C. There's that, and there's that. Cabin temperature right here, 30.9, 87.6. I'm blown away by these results. The two reasons I was alluding to during the video to buy this product or any sunshade for that matter were the glare. It does reduce on glare no matter what the temperature is, as well as something my wife pointed out to me. I didn't even ask her to, to give me a review or anything. She said that the seats stay cooler, and she didn't realize that would be an, you know, a consequence of having these shades up on that glass roof. So cooler seats and uh, a lack of glare, and now the numbers. Let's go over the numbers. I cannot believe it did this well. So without, I've got my notes right here, in case you're wondering, got my notes from uh, from the experiment. Very scientific, I, I have to uh, admit. So the back portion is first. It came in without the sunshade at 154.9 degrees Fahrenheit. In the sun area, direct sun, you can see the spot of the sun right there. It came in at 164.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That is super hot. Molten hot. Don't touch this with your hands. Uh, and tell your kids not to as well. The um, uh, coming in at uh, Celsius was 74.2. Now the footwell, this was kind of just to get an ambient temperature of the cabin. I, so I did the footwell uh, without the sunshade was 94.6 degrees Fahrenheit and 34.8 degrees Celsius. Okay, with the sunshade, my mind is blown. I thought this was kind of a gimmicky product. I thought this was, like I said, it would keep your seats cool, it would cut down on glare, but I really didn't think these numbers would come in the way they did. It's actually kind of amazing to me. Now this is the Joa glass roof sunshade. Uh, there's a bunch of these kinds on the market. Some are the cream colored, you know, to, 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 to match the interior of the car. Some are black. I think the Tesla one is black. So I don't know if they all come up with these numbers, but this particular one did pretty well. I have to believe that the rest also did pretty well. I wasn't sure how that would it would actually work because technically the heat and the light is still hitting the glass. It's still getting into the cabin. It just seems to be trapped now between the, the sunshade we have installed and the glass, and it's not getting down into the cabin. And the temperature uh, gauge, the laser temperature gauge I was using, is not showing the full heat. And that's what the occupants really want. So let's take a look with the sunshade in place. The back portion that I tested came in at 140 degrees 0.9 Fahrenheit. 
60.5 Celsius. That was the back portion of the glass with the sunshade in place. Uh, with the sun beating down on that front portion of the, uh, the glass roof, 146.3 degrees Fahrenheit and 63.5 degrees Celsius. That's with the sun. And then the footwell, 87.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 30.9 degrees Celsius. So what is the difference? I got those numbers too right here. What was the difference between the two? You're going to be astonished. I, this is how much the cabin was cooler with the sunshade in place. The back portion, 14 degrees cooler Fahrenheit, 9.5 degrees Celsius. In the sun area, 18.5 degrees Fahrenheit and 10.7 degrees Celsius. And then the footwell, 7 Fahrenheit, 3.9 degrees uh, Celsius. That is the Model Y glass roof sunshade from Joa. That's the product that we use for this test. Also, the test was about an hour off because I had to wait to cool down the glass and restart the test. The glass was also slightly warmer for the second test with the shade in place. So the shade in place had a bunch of things going against it from the start and it still came up with cooler numbers. So if I had reversed the test, I have a feeling it would be even more remarkable. The, the sun was directly overhead. It was midday instead of morning. The shade itself test did have some things going against it. And then keep in mind, these temperatures are a couple degrees off uh, from this and the temp temperature uh, uh, laser thing. So there you go, that's the test. Take it as you will. I wanted to be as scientific as possible. I wanted to give you the numbers that I was seeing. By the way, this is has been done in Los Angeles. Uh, like I said, it was about 85 degrees to 90 degrees during most of the test, so it was, I think, consistent enough. With these numbers, these large of numbers, it's kind of a no-brainer. You definitely wanna keep your cabin cooler. It uh, definitely works in, in this case. And uh, maybe I'll do another test down the road when it's like 110 degrees outside. I'm lucky me, I get to do that. But anyway, pick up yourself a, a roof sunshade. We've got a coupon code down below for the Joa version. Uh, I don't know if they all work the same, but this particular one did well enough, in my opinion, to spend the money and cool down the cabin and all that kind of stuff. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, we're doing all kinds of weird different stuff like temperature checking. It, it takes seconds out of your day. I totally appreciate it if you would go ahead and like this video particularly. And then if you go the extra mile, hit the subscribe button. Again, seconds out of your day, but it means the world to the channel and it allows us to keep doing stuff like this. Tesla tips and trips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Molten hot.